Hello everyone, this is Manisha Kaushik, your psychic guide and you can reach me on www.askmanisha.com Since board exams are just around the corner, so I keep on getting a lot of calls from parents, children on how would their children's exam go, whether they would be able to clear it well, whether they would be able to manage to their favorite streams, what colleges, etc, etc. They often ask me about uh, a lot of feng shui products if they can increase their children's marks. Let's be very practical guys, no feng shui product or upai can increase your marks but certainly these uh, upais or remedies what we call, they can definitely increase the foundation level, they can definitely improve the foundation level which is your efforts, efforts, concentration, focus. So these products which you can, what you can see on my table are for those parents or children who are uh, aiming for their board exams or probably are trying to improve on their education level. So let's start, go ahead with them. The first uh, product that we have is called the Cornian Goddess, if you can see that clearly. Uh, Cornian Goddess in Feng Shui is almost equivalent to uh, Ma Saraswati that we follow. Uh, Ma Saraswati uh, is one deity that we that is seen for uh, good education, good education in music, etc. So similarly, Kuan Yin Goddess, if you see this goddess, she is sitting in a very relaxed mood with Amrit in her hands. Now this is that liquid which is required by a child. It's just like, you know, the mothers, they often uh, give their children uh, a glass of milk while they are studying just to improve their concentration level. It is the same Amrit, same, uh, uh, you know, the milk proportion that your child needs. So she's holding that in her hand just to offer him. Offer, uh, probably you can use that. I uh, tell a lot of parents, you can also use uh, Mat Saraswati's idol as well. But what is more beautiful about this idol is that she's gold. This picture is completely golden in color. If, even if you see all the products that I have on my table are mostly golden in color, there's a very basic reason uh, behind it because there's a Feng Shui concept uh, that basically when we say that the person who possesses more gold is more rich or uh, is rich or a wealthy person. Similarly, if you have more of golden uh, pieces on your child's desk that's going to increase or improve the education quotient in his life and of course fame so i would have a lot of uh, um, i would have a couple of uh, products for increasing the fame factor as well but talking about the Kuanian goddess this is one goddess which definitely improves your child's focus uh, the second important step is not only buying these products but to know where to place them if you take your table, if this table is uh, where I'm going to place uh, this Kuanian goddess on my child's table, let me take this as the center. This would be north. Now fix the east uh, that you would be knowing. Say for example, you know that the sun rises from this direction. So let's say this is east. Now opposite to that would be west. Top of that would be north and the bottom would be south. So Kuan Yin Goddess is one thing, which is one product in Feng Shui that has to be kept in the northeast direction facing your child. So when this is there, she, now she is automatically going to grab your child's attention and going to bless you, bless your child as well to grow in this education process, in your education domain. The second uh, product that we have is a nine tier education pagoda. Again, if you see, that's called the education tower and or the education pagoda. It's not pagoda, it is pagoda, P-A-G-O-D-A. So if you see this product again, that is golden in color, but it has a lot of other colors. There's red, if you can see, there's red color in it. There's a green color in it. And of course, there's a tinge of yellow. So what it says is the nine tier nine in feng shui is the number of completion. It is the number of a uh, lot of energy. So this is what this is what it tells you. And you're uh, probably you know it helps you increase your child's um, brain level step by step. So these are nine levels that gives you an attainment of your life red gives you a lot of energy a lot of boost green is the color for growth so these are the three colors which are very important for any in fact this is one of the function product that you can keep in your offices as well because it serves the same purpose uh, increase your effort level and your uh, enhances your results prospectus as well the third product is the Sai Shanye. 
Now, this is one feng shui product which is uh, related to the wealth as well as the good fortune, good news. So, if you see this product carefully, it has a golden ingot in his hands. A lot of people ask me because they see it on my table, Manisha, what is a golden ingot? A golden ingot is something which the rich people, it is again a, uh, a common uh, notion in feng shui that only the rich people in uh, Chinese would have, uh, in China, would have this golden ingot at that place. So, that is reason. That is one reason it is uh, said to be a wealth god. And if you see, there's a message that he has opened for you. So this is a very um, good uh, symbol which has to be, uh, which brings good news. So certainly if you have the results coming over, this is one product which can definitely enhance your uh, enhance the good news factor at home. Now, a lot of uh, now the very important cross, uh, question here is where to place this. It should never be placed facing you like this because then you would only be hearing. If I keep it like this, where this God is, because I'm seeing this God, probably it is going to definitely uh, in, uh, give me good news about the people around me, which I'm not very interested in. So it is uh, this function product has to be placed somewhere at the back near the entrance where your child when, when he enters the room there uh, uh, is that uh, the good news also enters with him the third sorry the fourth product that we would be talking of is a feng shui turtle is all feng shui turtle if you see a lot of uh, parents ask me that our children know a lot of uh, things but then they're not able to write well in the exams because that is lack of confidence or probably if it's a verbal exam or it's a viva or it's a practical so they're not able to perform now this feng shui turtle is it helps you if you see this turtoys, it has uh, his uh, neck lifted up. So that gives you confidence. It, it gives you pride in whatever you have achieved till date. And moreover, if you see, if you understand the concept of a turtle, of a turtoys, a tortoise has a very hard covering. It has a very hard shell where it can uh, it can actually get into and save itself. So be it andi, tufan, etc., etc., be it anything, be it thunderstorm, be it rain, be it anything, you have a stronger covering that you can save yourself into. That is the concept of a tortoise. Further, a um, lot of people would also ask me again, why is this not golden in color? Because each of us have confidence within us, but then that confidence is somewhere hidden. If, you, if, it is not, if you're not able to perform well, certainly it could be a confidence deficiency in you. So this, if I give that in golden, it is definitely give, going to give you overconfidence because there will be an excess of confidence in you. So it is very important that only this feng shui turtle should be kept in silver color. The next uh, that I have, there are two beautiful crystals that you can see. That's one in yellow color and one is in green color. And all these crystals are to be kept in pairs. This is the first feng shui concept. That these crystals should never be kept alone. Even in my office, I keep both of them. But that's again in combination. So the yellow is definitely, uh, like if I say the sun is shining, so that's, it's, that's going to make your child shine in the future in the results as well and green is for the growth so when we say when we keep both of them together so again the shining factor again keeps on growing for your child the next feng shui uh, product that i have on my desk is a crystal globe if you see this this is more of a circular thing this is for those children who are not able to complete their courses who will start with something and leave something in between so if you have a crystal globe on their desk certainly it's going to help them uh, uh, you know complete the entire chapters lastly if there is a focus problem in your child who's not able that uh, kb is not able to concentrate well on uh, on his studies i think these are the two uh you know 108 beads malas that i always tell our parents to help them uh, uh, it's nothing. Whoever you follow, it could be Sai Ram, it could be Ma Durga, it could be Ma Saraswati, uh, Ramji, anybody, any deity, any deity that you you really really believe in. Ask your child to read its mantra 108 times. Now this bead, the this ma, these both these malas, 108 times. The, uh, the beads are 108 in number. So when you do that 108 times, you're trying to 
focus yourself one by one you're trying to focus on each bead which is definitely going to increase your concentration level if you've got any more questions about these products please feel free to mail me on my website and i shall try my level best to get back to you on as and when time permits but there's certainly uh 